So Seema Taparia from Mumbai is back with a database of eligible brides and grooms from all around the world looking to settle. But she still has only one piece of advice for all of them. Keep watching to know what it is. Well, if you have watched matchmaker Seema Taparia in the first season of this Netflix reality show, then you are no stranger to her patent advice to all her clients. Thoda adjust to karna padega. 100% to kisi ko nahi milta. Well, that continues to be her one note sales pitch to get her clients hitched. Not much has changed in this season except that Seema ji has become more entitled, famous and affluent who still jet sets across the globe visiting the swanky homes of her NRI clients, greeting them in her trademark style as she sits down to understand their criteria for a possible match. To be honest, that seems like the only unscripted part where Seema Dabaria asked the family in her distinct Gujarati English accent about the kind of life partner they are seeking for their child. From then on, the show starts to drag a little. The unpredictable dates between Seema's matches are still the highlight of the show with freak encounters and heartbreaks at all but a lot of it feels very repetitive. What with some of the familiar faces like Aparna, Nadia, Pradyuman all from the last season featuring here to continue their journey of seeking love and or a life partner. The only big change is that this time around romance takes a front seat and Seema ji gets a little less screen time but we are not complaining about that. What's problematic though is that all the regressive cringe factors are firmly in place this time too. From a pundit sorting out the destiny of a young, smart and handsome eligible bachelor like 34-year-old Akshay who is suffering from Viva Dosh to a Chinese astrologer unraveling facets of last season's show stealer Aparna's failed attempts to find love through an arranged marriage setup. Seema Dabaria gets a makeover too, but we still don't know what actually makes her any more of an expert in matchmaking than the friendly yet nosy neighborhood auntie. With top-notch production values and a peppy background score, the show remains strictly urban and high class, whether it's Nashik or New Jersey. After all, not everyone can afford a celebrity matchmaker who is honest enough to tell off a girl looking for good looks in her to-be partner pure being judgmental. Well, look who's talking, that's all we can say. And that's my review guys. You can read this full review and the rating of it in the Times of India. Of course, let me know if you've watched Seema Taparia in Indian Matchmaking Season 2 on Netflix in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. It's at the rate review on Instagram, at the rate on Kudich on Twitter. But as always, even if you don't do any of these things, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Ciao.